Late folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back, and old man. We're gonna do a one year review. Yeah, what's been one year already? Then we picked up this four inch by 36 built six inch disc sander from when. And folks, I, I tell you what, if you want to know my initial thoughts after one year, oh, I've been impressed, very impressed. Well, uh, as you can see, there's the video. If you want to see the video, idea, I'll leave the link down below. And this is uh, when we first bought it, and uh, you can see it's one year ago. And they had 10,000 of you watched this, so uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody who watched it. I'll tell you what, it was 136, I even wrote down 136 dollars on Amazon one year ago. Let's see if it's still 136 dollars today. All right, so this is December of 2020, and you can see it's still 137.71. So it went up like a buck and a half. But uh, I st I'll tell you what, folks, uh, if you're looking for one of these, the, uh, I've had zero problems. Let's, let's take a closer look after a year. All right, you can see uh, originally I was storing them down here with some of my other products and then bringing it up, and I had made some bases that I would then use these hold downs. But uh, I use it so often that uh, I had made this, this – uh, chest of drawers here and I actually uh, had a small drill press up there. Got rid of the drill press, found a, another drill press and I'm using it right now full time on there. And it, I'll tell you what, I've had zero issues. Uh, everything is, the base itself is cast iron. And then the table here is is aluminum now. These, these are peel and stick pads, very easy to replace. Basically, you just take off with this plastic, and I thought that would be an issue too, This plastic, but this is held very tight. And I was saying, I think I was a little critical of it because it only connects on this side. There's no connection over here. And I, I thought for sure that there would be a lot of deflection and all that, and that would lead to an issue. But everything I've used it on has worked very, very well. Now, I, I have replaced the upper belt, I believe, once on it, and uh, I've had zero issues. This is how you loosen it up, and that's how you make the adjustments right to left on the belt itself. Uh, this serves more of a stop and as a guard and uh i'll tell you what you can <laughs> i did figure it out I, I i actually was kind of confused when i first got it as to how you got this up there in fact i wanted this to be my table up on the top and uh i just yeah I, you know what if i if i took the time to make it work it would work now some of you are probably asking what about the dust port does it work well i hook it up to my uh rigid shop vac there and uh, it works very, very well. So, you know, a lot of times uh, manufacturers put a dust port on and it's just a dust port, doesn't really do much. This one actually works. So I'll tell you what, let's, let's look at it in a vertical position with that table on. All right, so to raise the belt vertically, uh, you got, uh, there's an Allen wrench here. You got to take an Allen wrench and you got to raise it up. Another thing I, you know, is this guard, it's metal. You, you would expect that to be plastic these days, but it's metal. So an, 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 another plus here. So then you take off that thing, my bobber right there, and uh, those two screws that were holding that guard more or less in place. And then we take this off and put it in place. I'll show you that. All right, there it is with the belt in the uh, vertical position. Like I said, there's just uh, a couple bolts to remove, two, two Allens. And then you gotta loosen up the Allen on the head and then retighten it down and take this off and put it on and everything lines up. The only thing there, there isn't a gauge to, to show you whether you're, whether you're at a 90. So you just gotta take a square and put a square up there, but not a big deal. And I honestly thought this is, would be the way that I would run it. And in, in fact, there was a part of me that, the, and I believe you can get another one of those tables from when, and I was I was gonna install that down here so I could use them both in, in that position. But uh, I, I really haven't found a need for that. And that, that little, six inch disc has served me well. Now I've not only used this for wood, but I've uh, used it for metal too. And it has worked very well on both of them. So I'll tell you what, let's get back into the uh, position that I use it in. All right, so a tip uh, to changing these uh, peel and stick. Uh, if you don't change them often, what will happen is that, uh, especially if you're generating a little bit of heat, is that uh, that'll stick to this platen, to, the, to this aluminum here. So what I like to do is, is very carefully take it and get as much of it off. Then I'll use just a, a foam sandy block. I pick these up cheap and it's a, like an 80 grit from uh, like Home Depot or uh, Harbor Freight. And uh, I'll just clean it up. I have to get all the adhesive out there because if you leave adhesive on here, it's just gonna get worse every time you change it. So better to clean her up every time and then you won't have to uh, you won't have to mess with it that much, you know, the next time. So there's your hot tip of the day, folks.
All right, back in the configuration that I use it in, but I showed you the other configurations and uh, I got the new disc on there. Super simple to do. We got to remember to, to clean off that, uh, that backing real good, get all the sticky stuff off there. And if you really let it go too long, it'll stick really good. And uh, uh, the, the dust collection, I'm, I'm using this in my basement and the dust collection works very, very, very well. Now, the only, if there's any drawbacks and you can see it, you know, it's sitting behind here because I don't use it, is their, their little, uh, a little T-square, their little miter gauge there. It's, uh, yeah, I don't use it. So uh, other than that, everything else on this has met every expectation and in all reality exceeded expectations too. I thought I was going to have a problem with the table and the table has held up just fine. Uh, I thought I'd have a problem with this plastic knob. The plastic knob, I haven't had an issue. So everything else is metal on here. And, and you know, it's a, it's a smaller belt sander. So someone's going to say, well, can you bog it down? Oh yeah, you can bog down any belt sander if you really give her. Uh, so, you know, for $135, that's basically what it is. $135 belt sander, it does the job. Tom Horseman, YouTube folks, I appreciate you watching. Remember, you know, if, you, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. 85% of the views of, of uh, Tom Horseman on YouTube are from non-subscribers. So all, all I ask is you hit the subscribe button and uh, thumbs up, leave a comment. And as always, folks, I really, really, really can't say it enough. Thank you so much for watching.